Hi, I'm Roland Van Roy, Field Application Manager at RichTech. I would like to explain you a bit about power management components and how to select the right component for your application. Power conversion is all about input and output conditions. Component selections depend a lot on input voltage, output voltage and output current. Let's have a look at some examples. The power source of your application could be a lithium-ion battery, or a small 12 volt adapter, or maybe a larger 24 volt or 48 volt industrial supply. Or maybe your application is fed directly from the AC line voltage. Power management components for the battery could be a battery charger and a battery gauge that shows the remaining battery charge. The 12 volt adapter probably uses a flyback controller and the industrial power supply will probably have a power factor controller as well. Now let's have a look at the final application. A wireless module contains circuits that are sensitive to noise. To provide a stable 3 volt supply, a low noise linear regulator is most suitable here. To provide a stable 5 volt for the USB port from a battery, you need a boost converter and maybe a power switch for short circuit protection. To power a 3.3 volt sensor from a battery, you need a buck boost to either step down or step up the voltage at different battery voltage conditions. Most system on chip devices require low voltage but can draw large currents. A high current buck step down converter is the right choice. DDR memory also requires low voltage at high currents and may need a DDR terminator to terminate the data bus lines. To drive an 8 ohm speaker with an amplified audio signal, you will need an audio power amplifier. Most LCD panels are backlit by LED strings, which need to be driven by DC input LED drivers, and a retrofit LED lamp will require a driver circuit that can transform the AC line voltage into a stable, constant current for the LED string. As you can see, each application has different conditions and considerations for selecting a specific power management component. RichTech can provide integrated power IC solutions for many different applications. In the following section, we'll discuss the different topologies and selection criteria in more detail. If you need to drop a higher input voltage to a lower output voltage at relatively moderate power levels, you can use a low dropout linear regulator. LDOs are simple, cheap and provide a clean, low noise supply. They can also react quickly to load transients. However, they have low efficiency and the power dissipation in the device can lead to thermal limitations. LDOs are normally used in applications with low current or applications with relatively low voltage drop. They are also suitable for applications that are sensitive to noise. If you need to step down a high input voltage to a low output voltage at higher current levels, a switch mode step down converter or buck converter is a better choice. Due to the switching action, buck converters have high efficiency and they are very flexible in providing different conversion ratios at various power levels. Buck converters will have some switching ripple on the output and they have a bit more external components compared to an LDO. But when your application requires high currents or high V in V out ratios, a buck converter is the best choice. In applications where the output voltage is higher than the input voltage, you need to step up the voltage. This requires a boost converter. Boost converters are also switch mode converters and have good efficiency and can be used in applications with various step up ratios. 
but also here the output voltage will contain some switching noise. Whenever the output voltage is higher than the input voltage, you will need a boost converter. Here is a situation where the input voltage is not fixed, but can change, either being higher or lower than the output voltage. For example, a battery, where the voltage can fluctuate during discharge and charge conditions. In this case, you will need a buck boost converter. This converter will automatically configure itself as a buck or a boost converter depending on the input and output voltage conditions to provide a stable output voltage. Integrated buck boost converters have high efficiency and are quite flexible in handling various input voltage conditions. The switching action will result in some switching noise on the output voltage. Buck boost converters are often used in systems powered by batteries or any application where the input voltage can be higher or lower than the output voltage. To summarize, when you need to step down the input voltage, you choose an LDO when the application current is low or when the step down ratio is low and when providing power to noise sensitive applications. You would choose a buck for applications with higher current or higher step down ratios. When you need to step up the input voltage, you need a boost converter. It is basically used in all applications where the output voltage is higher than the input voltage. When the input voltage can vary either above or below the output voltage, you need a buck boost converter. It is often used in battery operated equipment to keep a stable output voltage over the full battery voltage range. Besides voltage regulators, you may also need power switches to enable a specific supply rail. Power switches are basically electrically controllable on-off switches. They often have built-in overcurrent protection, which makes the application short-circuit proof. Power switches are often used to provide power and protection for USB ports. Voltage supervisor ICs, or reset ICs, are used to monitor the supply line of microcontrollers or processors. When the supply voltage drops below a certain level, the voltage supervisor IC will initiate a reset to the processor to avoid data corruption due to too low processor supply voltage. When the supply voltage recovers, the reset signal is removed, usually with some delay to ensure stable processor initialization. If your application contains a rechargeable battery, you most likely will also need a circuit that will charge the battery. Battery charger ICs are normally powered from an adapter and will provide accurate charging voltage and charging current control for the specific battery in your application. They will also monitor the battery temperature to ensure safe charging conditions. Some battery charger ICs also include power path control to allow the system to be run from either the adapter or the battery. You can also add a battery gauge IC, which will measure the battery charge and discharge conditions and provide accurate battery state of charge information to your system. Let's briefly discuss AC-DC converter applications. The main function of an AC-DC converter is to transform the 50 or 60 Hz AC line voltage into a stable DC output voltage and at the same time provide mains isolation. Take for example a small switch mode AC adapter. The circuit will consist of a rectifier stage and a flyback converter, which is basically a buck boost converter with a split inductor to form a transformer. The flyback controller will control the primary switching MOSFET in order to regulate the output voltage at the secondary winding. It takes its feedback information from the secondary output voltage to maintain stable output voltage at varying AC line and output load conditions. Power supplies with power ratings above 75 watts, like open frame industrial supplies, will need to meet specific power factor requirements. In these systems, 
a PFC boost stage is added, which provides a stable supply to the flyback stage and controls the boost input current to meet power factor and AC line input current harmonic requirements. LEDs are light emitting diodes. They need to be driven with a constant current for a certain light output. If you want to vary the light output, you need a circuit that varies the current through the LED string. The forward voltage of most high brightness LEDs ranges from 3 to 3.5 volts. The number of LEDs in the string will determine the total LED string voltage. Depending on the input voltage and the LED string voltage, you may need a buck, a boost or a buck boost LED driver. RichTech has a wide range of LED drivers for various applications, from DC input LCD backlight LED drivers to AC input retrofit LED lamps. I hope this short tutorial has helped you a bit in finding a better component for your power management application. For more information, please visit the RichTech website at www.richtech.com.